It appears that everybody thinks, every time we go out with a ferret, we're with the boys, the dog, and we're in this beautiful countryside in Yorkshire. But in reality, life is a bit different. And perversely, I do love the hedgerows and deep warrens of my home county in Suffolk. So as we're going to see, life isn't all about rolling hills, fast dogs, good crack friends and ferrets. It's about getting down and getting some work done. On this particular job I found myself over the border in the deep Norfolk. The rabbits were making a nuisance of themselves in the hedgerows and paddocks. Something had to be done. So we fitted a rabbit fence around the paddock and set about emptying the warrens. To begin with I had Bella out. She's a very small hedgerow specialist when I'm ferreting in such an environment. The ferrets though, they had to work hard, as there wasn't hundreds of rabbits here. But what was there, well, they didn't fancy facing the ferrets. So Ronnie, Reggie and the Three Degrees set about work. Nothing got away, although the spade began to come out. You know why they won't really stay with it? Stone dead. The next port of coal was underneath an outhouse, somewhere not for the faint-hearted. And as we didn't have a dog out, we didn't have that there to pressurise the rabbits into bolting. But, that being said, they didn't fancy staying underground neither, and they did bolt out. Of course these are dispatched in the net, no avenue of escape. And another one bolted, a dispatched in the net as well. And as you can see, the rabbits are still moving about after being dispatched. They are dead, but are exhibiting a disinhibitation of the motor neurons in the spinal cord. Oscillating muscles then give the impression that they are still moving about and alive, but they're not. They're as dead as a dodo. After sorting them out, we mopped up a few from the fence line. This time Tony was out, in between the long nets. And the long nets are something that have revolutionised how we go about ferreting forever. But at the end of the day, I have a choice. If the rabbits didn't want to come out, do I dig or do I wait for them? and I prefer to dig them out. Time is valuable, the light was fading and we had a journey home. So I had to take matters into my own hands and my own spade. Well done Tony, 